pretty. I like how shiny the sun is. You using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay then. Hi. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, okay? Um, okay. I forgive you. Oh, really? Great! Hey, who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal insults, like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? A weapon to kill Magchatra? That dude is a bummer. But I don't think I could make something that powerful. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm. Yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? Uh, yeah, that's it. A tree fell on your roof. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Will you help me kill Magchatra? Sorry, conscientious objector. But I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. Ooh, think I could kill Magchatra with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I really don't think anything could kill Magchatra. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Hi. Hey, Vela. Hey, about this art. Yeah? What is it? Well, you know. It's abstract. It's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh-huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. Can I have it? No way, man. That thing's vintage. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. Wait, east? Or was it west? Meh. Hmm, this 
Sky hasn't gotten mail in a while. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Hmm, they don't seem too chatty to me. Wait, is this east? West? Hey! Uh, uh, let go! Can't breathe. In case of snake, blow horn. You're welcome, Curtis. So do not go that way. Got it. I have a feeling I might regret this. Trees. She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! Okay, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! Ow! My trunk! I'm losing sap! Murderer! Please don't scream anymore! You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole forest! I'm here on behalf of Curtis, the lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce, mining her own branches, then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh, God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. Say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He... He butchered her. Turned her into a... A stool. No... Oh, God. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren. It makes me sick. Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchathra? Is that all you humans think about? Killing? You all make me want to puke. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up. But I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. Hello, Shellman. Looks like Mob Chathra hasn't gotten here yet. Now to the right. Oh, driftwood. So smooth. Okay, a little to the left. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Because you look like a mayor. Hmm. I have to admit you're not the first person to tell me that. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people, for now. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Are you saying I smell bad? No, oh, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. 
with a hint of fresh pine. Ooh, and a dangerous undernote of snake, I believe. Very nice. But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Did you say there might not be a maiden's feast? The sea? She is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. There has to be a maiden's feast. I need to kill Mog Chathra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Mog Chathra. But when he comes here and sees no offering arena, he might pass us by. Or worse. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I have it? Certainly not. It's an integral part of my soon-to-be mayor look. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I please have it? I like your manners, but I like my hat more. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Thank you, child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. So, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, but this construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. When is Mog Chakra supposed to get here? Any minute! So much to do! Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. What? Oh, um, whew. That's a relief. Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath. Before he begins the deep carving. Oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! Hi, 
Hi, you maidens getting ready for the maiden's feast? I want to be in the maiden's feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <sighs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not gonna give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not gonna give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Not as much as they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. <laughs> hey, maidens, I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. Huh, not half as hard as I'm gonna kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit, just standing here. You maidens nervous? Yeah, nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chathra gets here. Oh. I can't believe our dad's donated so much to his campaign. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. See you maidens later. Ciao! Ciao. Stranger approaches. Not so fast. Darn. All out of holy tear gas. Use the staff. Oh, yeah. Halt. For the dead eye god sees no one. Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn. And this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. <laughs> As if you didn't know. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, I don't know. It just looks cool. It does? We wouldn't know. We're blind. Oh, sorry. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless. What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of Yorn. Oh, yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. No problem. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down. When we are in our prime, devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit, long after I am dead. Whoa. Yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Who's the dead eye god? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgantol. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more. Probably. I mean, really, 
we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. What's the Battle of Volgantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm, sounds promising. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. Oh. If the dead eye god has no need for sight, then neither do we. Huh. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Some more holy tear gas? Oh yeah, here. Just fill that up for me if you could. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. Check it out. Fruit. No thanks. These are our only robes. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit. With a pit inside. Oh my god. It's so simple. Why didn't we get that? Oh man, that's been bugging us all day. But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, give me this, give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. Are you the dead eye god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, God. Were you really dead? Nah, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Part of the reason I went into Chrysolation, to tell you the truth. Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... Uh, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm going to need to fix some more wiring before I can even gain access to it. What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. Who knows if it's even still there. What's all this equipment do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. Laruna was dying. The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. How'd your ship crash? 
I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Okay, see you later. Uh-huh. Ooh, pretty colors. Whoops. Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry, I'll get a new one. Uh, don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam for that. There. Good as new. Actually, that's not bad. And you even got it in the right slot. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. On second thought, I don't like it there. Hey, what are you doing? I found a replacement for your quartz thing. Maybe, but you put it in the wrong socket. You get that order wrong and you'll melt us down into a sad little puddle. Nailed it. What have you done? Uh, fixed your ship? You put the amplifying quartz after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but that would only produce a powerful, weaponized... Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. Yay! And I told Becky, you're so ugly, <laughs> I'm glad I'm blind. <laughs> okay, the targeting iris has 300 years of rust on it, but it should do the trick. I'll try to lure him into a good spot. You can fire the weapon with this remote trigger. Like this? Okay, shut it down. Clarence, was that you? Knock it off! Just use quick bursts or that hacked circuit of yours will cause a meltdown up here. I'm not sure how to thank you for this. You know what? The whole time I was on that spaceship, all I really wanted was to be as useful as I feel right now. Well, wish me luck. Hey, if you're really from steel bunting, I'm sure you're not gonna need it. to me, old chum. I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? Okay, let's try it there. Great, let's see what we got. Here, this will make your sand mixture stick together better. Really? How do you know? I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. At this point, I'd try anything. Hey, Clarence, bring that load down here, will you? I hope you're right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Shh, let's watch. Here comes a wave. I can't look. What'd I tell you? Now that's a sandcastle. Looks like we're in business. All we need to do now is get those maidens in tune. All right, girls, time for the talent portion. Let's practice. <laughs> Gross, Drusilla. Don't you think I can smell that? Okay, this time, it really wasn't me. <laughs> Is this about the feathers we took for our costumes? You can have them back! Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. 
I'll get rid of it. Great. Ow! Great idea. What about me? Ow! I exude it naturally. She has to save whom she can't. Ow! I'll tell Mog Chakra about you, Drusilla. Get off of me! Ruining my costume! Ah! 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 Disgusting! Ah! Beat it! Back off, bird! I am a maiden of shell ma Oh, man. <coughs> the things monsters go for these days. My dad is gonna have you all poisoned. Ah! Marshal Dune? Mm hmm? I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Well, I suppose I do owe you one for your help with construction. Oh, my, oh, my. Now that is how you attract a monster. You are in, my girl. My compliments to your grandmother. Truly monstrous. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! You know what to do, girls. and shine, son. You better get up. I'm almost off duty. Your mom's gonna be here soon and you know how she is. Oops. Here she comes. Have a great day, Shane. There's my little angel. Oh, computer. Snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Oh, computer. Off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. What a good boy. Okay. Clean up that dirty little body. Hey, 
Easy, computer. Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diaper. Choco rockets? Yikes. No way. Sims. I think I'd rather eat a bug. Honey holograms. No thanks, computer. Nebulumps? Yuck. No, I hate that. Soylent dreams. No, not in that kind of mood today. Crispy bunches of space. Man, that sounds horrible. Brain blasters? Ugh, take that away. Strawberry comet trails. Please don't take this personally, but no thanks. Whole grain nutrient paste? Are you kidding? Gross. Mutant munch. Yuck. Are you even trying, computer? Galactic slime? I think I'm allergic to that, aren't I? Splarg? Splarg? Seriously? Are you trying to make me unplug you, computer? Oh, come on! You love Splarg! Good morning, Commander Shea! It is my honor to be your training spoon today. Can't wait to start Mission Nutrition. So just pick me up and we'll start filling you up with space fuel. Is something wrong, Commander Shea? Please say something, Commander. Are you waiting for another spoon? We could send in a replacement. But I have to let you know I requested this mission specifically. I was on a waiting list for months. Uh, even though you've been very hard on us spoons in the past, even cruel, I... I just wanted you to know that working with you has been my lifelong dream. Oh god, I'm so embarrassed. I'll just shut up now. But seriously, you should eat. Many important missions today. Okay. Shutting up. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Yes! You won't be sorry, Commander. Once more into the Milky Breach. It's happening. It's really happening. Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you... Uh-oh. Uh, Commander? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? 